Hey you guys, it is me, Jeanette, aka Sweet Jean, and I am in bed. I got up, started getting ready for work. It's Monday, and I'm tired, and I am exhausted, but I have to go to work today. Um, so I don't really care that my dirty pillows are showing, my mattress, my duvets half off the bed, my neck pillow, I mean, I really don't care. <laughs> but I did want to come on here and just kind of talk to you about um, Zometa, which is a uh, bone strengthener uh, given to metastatic uh, patients whose cancer has spread to the bones which mine has um, and that's the reason why I had to have um, spinal surgery because it had spread um, to my spine and um, so when I first was diagnosed back in 2016 I was put on um, two types of chemotherapy called Perchetta and Herceptin and then I was given Zometa, which was the bone strengthener. Then a year and a half into it, I had to discontinue the Zometa because when you're on Zometa and if you have any kind of dental issues, they take you off of the Zometa because it can cause issues with your jaw and your teeth and um, healing. Worst case uh, scenario is that you get uh, necrosis of the jaw, which is um, the jaw just dying away and crumbling away, and they have to rebuild you a new jaw. That's like the worst case scenario if you're on Zometa and you have dental work. So I was off of Zometa probably for a good year because I kept on having some issues with my teeth. I had to have some teeth removed. Then as I was healing, I, um, I got a cracked tooth. Then I had to wait a few months to pay to have that fixed. So I was off of the Zometa for a whole year. And in the meantime, the um, medication that I was on, the chemotherapy that I was on stopped working. I'm trying really hard not to, not to gag. <laughs> um... The chemotherapy that I was on originally they had just stopped me from taking it and they put me on uh, two other oral medications where I was taking 15 pills a day um, and I was able to function fine then when that stopped working they put me on what I'm on now which is Ketkala or Ketsala and I was able to function just fine the original dose that I was on back in 2016, I lost 80 pounds because it was just so harsh on my body. And so I thought it was the Herceptin and the Progetta and the Zometa mix. Well, now that I'm back on the Zometa, which they just gave me um, this past Wednesday, it really kicked my butt. By the way, I'm a very slow talker, so if you're on like a smartphone, if you click um, right up here, you should get like um, three little white buttons. If you click on it, a white um, pop-up will come up and one of them says, I think, um, speed or audio speed or video speed, and it's set to normal. If you click that, you can speed up any video that you watch, <laughs> and so you could probably watch me out. 1.5 or 1.75 and you'd still be able to understand what I'm saying it's just that I talk really slowly but anyhow um, so the Zometa gives me bones that ache gives me nausea loss of appetite fatigue like you wouldn't believe it feels like concrete is being poured into my bones. Stepping up onto, say, like a sidewalk or a curb is work. Um, getting into the shower is work. 
Raising my arms to scrub my hair is work. Stepping into and out of the tub is work. Walking down the hallway to get into the bathroom is work. Getting up from the toilet is work. Getting out of bed is work. I'm sitting there on the toilet and I'm taking a few deep breaths because it's like just takes so much energy just to get up, do what I got to do, pull up my pants, wash my hands, raise my arm to open the door because my arms feel so heavy, my legs feel so heavy, my bones just feel really heavy. And um, usually when I go get my chemotherapy, like for example, I got my chemo on Wednesday, they give you enough pre-meds and um, painkillers to kind of like hold you over for a couple of days. So with me, I'm usually good on the day that I get my chemotherapy, which like I said, I got mine on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, I'm typically good like the next two days and then the symptoms usually kick in after that. Well, Friday, I was at work and I was hungry so I had lunch. I had a sandwich with some chips and a cherry cola. And then before my shift was over, I started to get really, really achy. Getting up from my chair, walking to the printer. I felt heavy, heavy, heavy. Feels like I had two cinder blocks sitting on my shoulders. And then my muscles started to get really achy and I was kept reaching back and trying to massage my back and just raising my arms was starting to bother me at that point. So the symptoms kicked in a little bit quicker than typical. And then when I got home, I was supposed to go to a, a, a birthday party and I couldn't, I couldn't get myself to get in the shower and get ready. I was just spent. I was just, it wiped me out. Um, so I stayed in bed and then, oh, before I got home, when I left work, I went to Walmart or Walgreens and I bought this, um, salon pass lotion, um, for my muscles, for my achy muscles, because my muscles were aching. And then I bought, um, like antacids and Tums because my stomach was starting to feel funny and hurt. And I thought it was because of my sandwich. And then I bought um, daily vitamins because I said to myself, I need energy. I need to make sure I'm getting my vitamins because my body feels bad. And so I'm buying all of these things, oh, my arm, because my symptoms are kicking in. And I keep telling myself, because since I hadn't had the Zometa in over a year, I forgot all, that it, all of the symptoms that it would give me. I knew that it made my bones feel heavy and achy and I knew that it kind of gave me like light flu like symptoms but I forgot all the little other things and so I wasn't sure if it was just the symptoms to the Zometa or if it was just my body just being tired so I went to Walgreens and I bought all these things, I bought vitamins, I bought Tylenol to strength um, for um, what is it? Tylenol extra strength for arthritis, which I have right here. Because my bones were aching me. <laughs> my bones were hurting me, so I bought that. My muscles were aching me, so I bought the Salon Pass lotion. My stomach was upset, so I bought the heartburn, Tom's other indigestion stuff. I felt weak and tired, so I bought vitamins for women. Like, I bought all these things to combat all these symptoms. It's the Zometa that's causing it. So anyways, I got home, took stuff that I had, and then I laid down. And then I was out for the weekend. I was in bed almost the entire weekend, except for... Sunday I finally got up because Sunday evening 
I hadn't eaten since Friday. I, I ate Friday afternoon at 2.30 at work. I didn't eat nothing on Friday for the rest of that day. Saturday, I was in bed moaning and groaning and crying because uh, I just didn't have any energy and I felt really weight down with my bones and then Sunday morning came along and I'm still in bed in and out of sleep throughout the whole weekend and then I felt really really weak and I would sit up on the side of my bed and then I would try to like take a few breaths and be like okay I need to get up and then I would lay back down then another hour or two would pass and I'd sit up on the side of the bed but my head hanging low and I'm like okay I'm gonna get up. I need to get up. I need to get some water or I need some some something. And I could not get my feet on the ground. I laid back down. Did this a few times. By Sunday evening, I was so tired and so weak, and I knew that I hadn't eaten since Friday, which was the sandwich and the the chips. I said to myself, I need to get some food in me. My body needs oh, nourishment. Ugh. My body needs nourishment. I need to feed my body. But anyhow, um, so finally got up and um, switching hands here. Hopefully I don't mess this up. I finally got up and it took all of my energy just to change, put on my pants, put on a bra, put on top put on my shoes and I sat there took a few deep breaths I said okay let's go stood up I felt dizzy I was like oh I I do not need to like fall I do not need to fall and tumble right now my bones are like achy and hurting and heavy and when you have cancer in your bones you're more likely to break a bone if you fall and especially me since I'm overweight <laughs> so anyways I said to myself okay I stood there for a minute waited for the dizziness to kind of go away and then I got in the car I didn't have anything to eat here so I needed to go and get something <sighs> just stepping outside felt good just because I needed to get that fresh air getting one leg into the car and then the other leg felt like a chore raising my arms just to put them on the steering wheel to steer was aching me looking to make sure there was no cars coming was just took so much energy I had to keep double checking because I was like really slow I would look right and then I would look left and I'm like wait let me look again because I was just slow moving lifting my leg just to break at the stop sign using my energy just to pay attention to traffic um, I know this sounds dramatic but every you do you ever have those dreams where you're running down the hallway and you're running 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 and you're using all the energy that you can and the hall just keeps getting longer and longer and longer and you're not making any progress <laughs> kind of what it felt like uh, but I mean I made progress so finally I went and I um, went to this um, restaurant and I got some steamed rice I got some steamed broccoli and carrots and a meat sauce and I got a big huge glass of ice water I ate half and um, felt a little bit I sat there for a bit took some fresh air just took my time with eating and I finally felt a little bit better and then I drove to my mom's house because I just was feeling really sad because I hadn't felt this bad in a long time I was doing pretty good without it for a whole year and I didn't realize how bad it made me feel I didn't know that that was the one that made me feel bad I thought it was the chemotherapy itself and I'm sure the chemotherapy makes me feel bad but the Zometa mixed in is no joke it is no joke it is no walk in the park 
And so now, I usually work Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays after the, the week after chemo. But we had um, a tragic accident happen with one of our employees' families. And so we're all pulling together to try and cover their shift. So I was asked to come in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And how this weekend went, I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to make it today. But I have to pull through. If I was in the condition today that I was this weekend, then I would have had to have called it in. It would have hurt me to call in because I hate I hate not to be a team player you know what I mean I hate to let anybody down I hate to um, go back on my word um, it bothers me that someone else has to pick up my slack so it takes a lot for me to call in because I go to work sick if I can if I have to um, but I feel so much more better today than I did this past weekend, but I'm not a hundred percent. I got up and I got ready and then I laid down. I started early cause I knew it was going to take me a long time. I sat up, I put on my makeup, as you could tell, not that much, but enough. Ow. And then I laid down. My arm hurts me. <laughs> Then I said to myself, I have a few minutes, let me make a video just to give an update on my chemo and uh, the new introduction of the Zometa, which I've had it before, it's just been a year ago since, anyway. Zometa is kicking my butt and I'm almost to the point where I want to ask her the next time I get it, because I get it every three weeks, I'm going to cry. I feel like asking her to give me half the dose because it just was so bad, so horrible. Um, not to mention that I was gagging, I was nauseous, loss of appetite, and uh, yeah. And it may not, I, I felt like turning the camera on and just recording myself during the, during it. I just didn't have the energy, just so you guys can get a glimpse. But, um, I just did not have the energy to do it. And, uh, anyways, I know I've been talking for quite some time. But I need to get my butt up, and I need to get dressed, and I need to get to work. And, uh, I need to be productive. Life goes on. And I have to keep on trucking. <laughs> so anyhow, thanks for uh, all of your support. Um, thank you uh, for any new subscribers that I've gotten lately. I appreciate it. Um, if you're not subscribed, I would ask you to consider subscribing and become uh, part of the community here. Everybody is so kind and uh, loving and and all that so anywho I'm gonna be letting you guys go and I will see you guys in the next video